Hello, and welcome to Magic and Mysticism, the podcast, Season 4, Episode 4, an SAM International Assembly Allied Production. Starring Master Mentalist, Tommy Burnett, New York City's favorite mind reader. Where each week he interviews mystery performers from all around the world. This week's guest is magician, Isabel. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, while I introduce your host, Mr. Tommy Burnett. And hello, welcome once again to season four, episode four. Well, I guess that means I said welcome again, but we've only done episode four right now. We've never been here for that before. So forget it. Um, I don't know. So hello and welcome to Magic and Mysticism, the podcast. I'm Tommy Bennett and I am your host. I'm so glad you're all here. We're streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. So, if you want to leave a comment, please do so and let us know you're here. To hear, to, wow. Today, <laughs> I started to say, to hey, this is not a, not a word, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> today, we have a terrific guest for you, as always. This young woman has been a model, an actor, a director, a screen queen, a photographer, a playwright, a motivational speaker, and running out of fingers, people, as well as a proficient and talented magician. She happens to be one of the patrons of magic and mysticism, but let me reassure you, I asked her to be on the show long before she became a patron. She asked me to say that. <laughs> um, and um, she even has her own podcast as well, more than one. Um, and she'll be talking about that a little bit later. Now, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. My guest is a force to be reckoned with. My guest is a force to be reckoned with. See, I told you I would say it again. (laughs) Um, Before we bring it out, I'm going to play a clip of her performing on my virtual magic show, Tuesday Night Magic Theater, which can be seen on Facebook and YouTube. Shameless plug. And now, the video.
Hashem. Well, apparently there was uh, an issue with the sound, and I apologize. Um, but um, uh, if you if uh, if you want to hear with some music, you can go to um, uh, Tuesday Night Magic Theater on YouTube. And um, it'll be on one of the shows there. Yeah. Uh, sorry, when 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 I upload this to YouTube, I will re-add the sound. It's great music, and she got permission to use this great music in the video. But um, without any further ado, please help me welcome. The beautiful and talented Isabel. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? I'm super excited. I am too. I am too. <laughs> we have we have so many comments today. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's see. We have um, Michael Kelly saying hi. Oh my God. Hey, Michael. We have Robin Rabina saying <laughs> hi, and uh, Alan Fischer. Alan, yay! Hey guys, uh, Bill, Bill is here. Hello. Um, Jose Jusea. Um, let's see. Uh, some French-speaking people. Uh, uh, that's so <laughs> weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hello, hello. Yeah. hello. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and oh, Julian, Julian Lofa, thank Julian. you, too. and 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 finally, Jack Wooden, hey. um, yay, from the UK. And um, yeah, it looks like um, it's maybe the most popular one yet, <laughs> but anyway, um, it's so very happy you on the show. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thank you, Lizzie. <laughs> That's my friend RJ from California. Um, yeah, um, and he also sang this background. Susie's there. Hey, Susie. Oh, Susie. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yes. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, my friend RJ says a nice background. Makes me think of discussions we've had and a wealth of knowledge in that ball head of yours. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Um, yes, I do have a wealth of knowledge up here. Uh, <laughs> and and the lovely Isabel is is uh, equally as impressive, if not more so, than I am. Um, <laughs> well, well, we can. And I did, and, <laughs> and 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 you can live with it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so before we go into 
um, you know, all the all the amazing things that you've done to fight magic and and be, and because this is magic and mysticism. Yeah. The podcast. Um <laughs> what got you started in magic and mentalism and who and what were your influences? Well, you know how most magicians are when they were kids, they started magic, or if not when they were teenagers. Well, not me. <laughs> I started about seven years ago. Mm-hmm. And I always liked magic, but I was not um I was not totally into it. It was like it was fun, you know, I liked seeing a card trick and fun but it's okay it's fun you know (laughs) but uh yeah like seven years ago um i saw um a clip from darren brown called Mm. seance if i remember correctly Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and since i'm really into uh skepticism critical thinking and science and things like that i was like amazed (laughs) by this show where he reproduce a séance, um, classic mm-hmm. séance from the mm-hmm. 1800s. But, of course, with, without ghosts, you know, it just, right, right. but, it, but we, we, we see the same effects. So I made research about Darren Brown and then I watched more clips and then I got his book here, Tricks of the Mind. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I started. You're, re- wel- you're welcome, Dan. You're welcome, Dan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you'll have to be on your podcast, right? Exactly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in this book, which is very, very good, very interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. there's a, a chapter about memory. And I was like, ah, mm. that's going to be a boring chapter. You know, so I start reading. And then there's. Um, He's saying that there's you can easily learn 20 words like in a matter of um, seconds and then remembering mm-hmm. them, you know, and you mm-hmm. can mm-hmm. you can say those words and yeah. Yeah. without without looking, without reading. No, you just no, and I'm like, no, that's not that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. But I tried it and wow, <laughs> that was incredible. And it pretty much changed my life. <laughs> I mm-hmm. was just so amazed that my brain could do that, that I wanted to learn more and more and more about those memory mnemonics, uh, techni- mm-hmm. techniques. Mm-hmm. And so I ended up uh, going to uh, a live show from uh, Les Sceptiques du Québec. Well, actually, it was a lecture mm-hmm. from a mentalist from here called Vincent Montalot. Mm-hmm. So the first part of his lecture was actually a mentalism show. And mm-hmm. I was very, very impressed. I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. <laughs> and the second part was about mnemonics. And he showed us uh, the um, PEG technique. Technique? Yes. Is yes. it how it... Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. oh, by the way, my first language is French. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I get a little bit confused yeah. and mixed up. So, don't um, apologize, don't apologize. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I learned uh, those uh, the first 32 words of uh, the, the peg techniques, and he didn't have time to show us more than that. But he said, if you're interested, just send me an email, and I'll send you uh, the, the my PDF files and everything. Nice. So I was like, I'm totally going to email him. Mm, yeah, sure. <laughs> so a few days after, uh, he sent me uh, this um, his PDF, and I started learning this, and we started talking, and he ended up being my mentor for a few months, so he showed me the French confused. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Julien knows what yeah, it is, right? Yeah, yeah Julien, Julien can relate, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah he became my mentor for for a few months where he showed me uh, the basic of mentalism and also magic some magic and yeah i, I learned a lot and oh no yeah sorry 
<laughs> well, we'll do it with Google Translate, right? There you go. Spanish yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, after after a while, I, I kept learning, but magic became a little bit just uh, more in the background while I was busy getting rid of my debts and working like crazy for a few years. And um, last year, I was like, okay, it's now, it's the time to do it. So I went back in it and uh, there's a school, a magic school in Montreal called uh, Magistral. So mm. I contacted uh, I contacted them saying like I would really 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 like <laughs> to uh, to be part of this school and so yeah I was in and uh, yeah Yannick Lacroix is uh, the teacher I don't know if may, some of you might know him he's mm -hmm. uh, he's really 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 good magician like a great teacher so. It, it, I learned so much in one year, a little bit less than one year. I learned like crazy, and this is why I can now perform all those amazing <laughs> things. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the clip you saw at the beginning, it's two effects that I learned that I learned there. So, but nice. I just add nice. some stuff around it. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, does is that answering the question? Yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, it was a very good answer. Yes. Okay. Um, Yes. Uh, oh, and, and Anthony is showing off, He's talking, talking in French. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I I know I know how to read French, Anthony. So be careful what you make of her. <laughs> no, Anthony, I'm very happy you, you watched the show. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank um, you. Yes. Um, well, I mean, I'm not surprised that we have so many people here because I'll say it again, you are a force to be back in with, Isabel. <laughs> you are. Um, so uh, let me bring up my questions again. Where did you go? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, so something that I think is... A good, a good place to start is um, what is your goal in magic? Meaning, um, uh, what do you want your participants or your audience to go home feeling? Good question. Good question. Thank you. Thank um, you. <laughs> I, 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 I wrote it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, of course, I want to entertain them, first of all. Like, if they're entertained, that's a good thing. But uh, I, I hope to have an impact on them. You know, I, I, I hope that when they get home, they keep some feelings, some emotions from the show with them. You know, hopefully, they will bring this home with them. And... I am also using magic to talk about a uh, different subject like uh, skepticism, asexuality, mm -hmm. mental mm -hmm. health, death, mm -hmm. you know, like fun stuff, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> and I hope I can um, make people, um, some people, you know, be maybe a bit more skeptical maybe a little bit more mm -hmm, understanding mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. tolerant or you know differences and yeah, yeah. for for the others well i i hope they they had fun i hope they have fun you know? <laughs> <laughs> nice yet another good answer <laughs> <sighs> Two yeah, on two. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, a good yeah. start. <laughs> now, now, now comes the hard one. Um, uh, can you tell us an experience where something went wrong during a performance and how you handle it? Yeah. <laughs> um, a few years ago, I did. Um, I did some magic tricks at, uh, you know, at tables in a 
partez de bureau, office party. Yeah, office yeah. party. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, I simple trick where I flip through a deck and someone mm -hmm. said stop. And then I mm -hmm. show the card. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I know what the card is, right? right. There, there's no way I can be wrong. It's impossible <laughs> that I get wrong impossible so i do this and I, so i yeah an, an old man wanted to uh, to be my participant right he was super happy to to mm -hmm. do this trick and, uh, and then so i do this and he says stop and i show and i showed everybody and then i stop start dealing the cards on the table and i say when you see your card tell me stop and he's not supposed to tell me stop because his card is under his plate in front of him right okay So I dropped the cards and he says, stop. I'm like, no, that's, that's, not, that's not possible. It can be. And then I said, really? The, the, the eight of spades, the, the eight of clubs is your card. And he says, yes, 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 it's my card. And then I look at other people and I say, so everybody, you saw the eight of clubs? And they're like, no, 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 no. It was the six of clubs. And then... And then the Ooh. old man was like, no, 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 it was the eight of clubs. And now they, they started to kind of fight, you know, and I'm like, oh, no, no, no. So before it degenerated, I just, I just <laughs> said, okay, so your card was the six of clubs. And now look under your plate. There it is. And I went away. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That was fun. <laughs> But, I have a second one, but it's, yeah, not, yeah, 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 yeah. it's not related to magic that it's much. Okay. But I, it's okay, it's okay, yeah, Because yeah. I did, um, I produced a, a burlesque show, uh, like maybe yeah. 10, 12, 13 years ago. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> and um, one of the performer was late. She was stuck in traffic. And the host was supposed to make time, you know, just to entertain people before, because it was not possible. I don't remember why to get another act before her act. So, and after three minutes, the host come to me downstairs and he's like, okay, you take the microphone, you have to do something. I can't. And he has those big eyes, you know, panic in his eyes. I'm like, oh my God, I have like seven minutes to kill. I have to go entertain these people. And... I'm not that good at improvisation, right? Not that good. So I went up there and I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to say? <laughs> so I start to, by saying, okay, everybody clap your hand. Give me a beat. And then they, they, they clap their hands and I started doing dance move, right? And then like, I cannot do that for seven <laughs> minutes. That's not happening. <laughs> so I remember that um, I, I, I had wrote a song a few weeks before that show about how I can't sing because I cannot sing. I'm tone deaf, like I really can't sing. And I wrote a song about how I cannot sing and it's kind of funny. And I remembered the, the lyrics. like So I ended up singing that and I'm like, Whatever. <laughs> What <the crap? laughs> but but it was people just loved it and it, it, so I, I did it. I managed to entertain people for nice. a good seven minutes and they, they had fun. So I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> really nice. So now now we're gonna get into the stuff before magic and And how, how it kind of ties in to your magic today. How has acting, modeling, directing, writing, performing burlesque? Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I, you know me, I'm making you laugh. So, um, how has all of that? affecting your magic and how has that helped making your magic more theatrical? Yeah, well, I obviously like to create stories, <laughs> you know, and I also like to play different characters. Mm -hmm. So for me, magic is not really just only performing a trick. 
it's yes, the, the trick is important, but the story around it is just as important. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, yeah, I'll give you an example um, that you, I think you saw it. Uh, my, um, my exam, my final exam at Magistral, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I performed a mentalism trick. But the way the teacher showed us the trick is, uh, I, I won't say anything about the trick, no. don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no! Um, so don't, don't beat me while I talk, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the <laughs> way... <laughs> so the way you showed us the trick, it was, there's three chairs on the stage. Oh, yes, magic is a whole experience, not a trick. I totally agree with you, Michael. <laughs> I really <laughs> relate to Michael's magic. <laughs> me too, me too. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's three chairs on the stage and someone from the audience is invited to sit on a chair and it's the chair that the magician has predicted. And so it's supposed to, <laughs> it's supposed to happen like that. Um, and I'm like, okay, um, chairs i'm zero inspired by chairs but let's take this concept so a person has to choose between three things and hopefully the thing she chose is the thing i want her to choose so um i kept thinking and i like it three things three things i like i like horror horror stories mm -hmm. or movies and stuff so i think okay three monsters three monsters that would be great three monsters okay all right, and now a story around the monsters. And I remembered um, a real story uh, of, uh, about um, a village in Nunavut in, from the uh, in, in 1930s where all the villagers disappeared without a trace. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and it was found by um, a, an adventurer called Joe Labelle, mm -hmm. and he's the one who reported reported the all the missing uh, people mm. and i'm like yeah that, that's great so what could have happened to those people yeah, yeah. and so yes yeah, so i based my presentation on that and i had someone from uh, from the audience to choose you know which monster you think would be the one uh, that did it mm -hmm. and and it was a success and you helped me on that, so I thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> very welcome. Very welcome. It's a beautiful, beautiful effect. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm always, always here to help you. Um, thank oh, you. Uh, uh, Josie says, I saw that trip by Isabel. It was great. Yes, I did uh, it for her. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> I, I, I agree. It's very good. Thank you. Um, yes. Um, so, um, I think we're going to take a break for a moment, and um, we're going to play some advertising. So, uh, feel free to um, take a break and um, have some water, and um, we'll be back in a moment. Want to become a patron of magic and mysticism? Well, now you can. By becoming a patron, for as little as $10 a month, you can help us keep having great guests, like the ones you're watching today. Did I mention that you can get merch from Magic and Mysticism? Depending on what level patron you become, you could receive a Magic and Mysticism coffee mug, t-shirt, poster or many other items. Just visit www.patreon.com forward slash Magic and Mysticism to sign up. We appreciate your support.
All right, and we're back. And before we bring is the lovely Isabel back out, I want to uh, let you all know that this Sunday, August 5th, I am conducting a Haunted Key workshop. This is good for beginners or people who have been doing a Haunted Key for years. I will be going over things that you probably have never heard of before. Um, I'll be going over seven completely different ways of using a haunted key and making it turn. Um, apart from the traditional way of making a key turn by itself, as well as um, the history and uh, credits for the Hungry Key, which I never knew about until I did the research, and um, lots of other things. And here is a, a little um, trailer for that, and then we'll come back with um, the lovely Isabel. Two more days until the Haunted Key Workshop with Master Mentalist Tommy Burnett. There's still plenty of time to register. Learn the proper way to turn the key. Learn moves you've never seen before. Learn what key is best for you. Learn how to calibrate your key. Learn the history and credits of the haunted key. Seven different methods of turning keys. How to use a key as an impromptu Ouija board. Three different ways to make the key move in a participant's hand. Which key works best? Where to find a good key? Three basic routines. And much more. To register, go to eventbrite.com and search the haunted key workshop or click on the link above this video. See you there. It's amazing what, what you can, can do with an old, old key. key. Nice. I'm going to be there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that was great. I didn't, I didn't even see you do that. <laughs> you sneaky devil. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, it was so good, but it's again. Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you're amazing. No, uh, <laughs> okay, anyway, um, <laughs> we're back with uh, the lovely Isabel, and, um, tell us about how, um, Move home no more, and um, tell us about move home no more. And how did a show about and how you did a show about fake mediums explaining cold and hot readings? How did that all come about? Yeah, well, Mouton No More is dead now, but uh, <laughs> about uh, eight years ago, I, jo I joined the, the group. Uh, Skeptics in the Pub, which is a group that is pretty much all around the world. It's just a, a bunch of skeptics who go in a pub <laughs> and uh, sorry about that, and the um, they talk about anything related to skepticism. Mm -hmm. So um, I so I met tons of people there, and three of the guys were like that. It would be so cool to to do more than just talk among ourselves. It would be cool to create content, to do shows, and mm -hmm. and I was like, this is such a great idea. <laughs> so <laughs> we started the uh, Mouton No More, no, no more mm -hmm. uh, which is Mouton is sheep in English, right. so sheep right. no more. And uh, so, yeah, we, uh, we were doing a, a live show, uh, one per month, and we were switching hosts for every month. And we were participating in each other's show. Mm 
And it was super, super fun. Mm. And But my favorite one is the one you were talking about, mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. one about the mediums. And so uh, I entered, I, I started the show um, like pretending I'm a medium. And you have to keep in mind that I'm doing this in front of a crowd, like 99% of them are hardcore skeptics so they already mm -hmm. know that mediums are you know they don't they don't believe right. in that like that me right. mediums talk to the dead and stuff like that they mm -hmm. feel mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they don't yeah. so uh, i go on stage and then i start giving little readings here and there like saying to someone um, i i see i see there, there's something you were very small there's something about war oh wait were you playing with gi joe when you were a kid yeah, ah, uh, that's what I saw. <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> so that for a few a few minutes, and then I started saying, "Okay, uh, there's a disease here. This diseased. I, I'm yeah, saying it like, yeah, wrong, uh, right? I, said, I don't no, mean someone sick, but yeah, someone but, yeah, dead. Uh, yeah, disease, disease. <laughs> yeah, yes, that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so." There's a dead person <laughs> right next to me. And his name is something like, is it, there's an E, is it Emil, Emil, um, Eric, I, I feel a violent death, Eric. And then there's a girl in the back of the room who, who raised her hand and she's like, mm -hmm. my brother's dead and he's Eric. I'm like, oh, it's your brother come, come on stage with me. And then she comes on stage and she's crying. And I'm like, you know, your brother wants to tell you that, that the, to, to, to stop worrying. He wants to see you happy. And she's crying and she's shaking. And mm -hmm. <laughs> the audience, you know, it was dead silent. <laughs> and I could see like in their eyes, they were shocked and they were, they couldn't believe it. They were <laughs> I'm like, okay, before someone, just come on stage and slap me. I'll just so I reveal that everybody I've introduced. Let me introduce you to a fantastic actress that I heard to play this part. And that, that was so great, you know, having that reaction yeah, of people yeah. wanted you feel yeah. that they want to kill you. It's great, yeah, the yeah. best thing in the world. <laughs> And uh, so why well, after that I, I explained, you know, cold reading, hot reading, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it, it was it was pretty much my greatest nice. memory of the Muto No Morse show. Yeah. I had yeah. so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, when, when you first told me that and, and I was listening to you tell me a story, I was like, Oh no, Isabel, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> 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 so you would have been one of the shocked ones. <laughs> yeah, I will have. I will have. Um, and, 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 then, and then when you said but she was an actress, I was like, oh, that's brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Um, yeah, they ended yeah. up thinking so too, like the, the, the audience. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, so, um, hopefully my pronunciation won't be too <laughs> horrible. Let's talk about the more they your skepticism. Uh, what, and what other, what are the other podcasts you've done and have coming up? Yeah, so le, le monde merveilleux du scepticisme, so you, you were not that far. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which and, English? And, and, actually, I took five years of French in high school. In high school, okay? Anyway. No, no, that was good. That was very good. Yeah, I know, very, I know. You're, French, you're better than you think. You're better than you think. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. It's true, <laughs> and um, so yeah, the the uh, le monde merveilleux du scepticisme, which in English is the wonderful world of mm, scepticism, yeah, yeah. was born uh, um, um, with the mouton no more, 
Mm-hmm. So we were doing shows, but we were also doing podcasts. Like the guys had an English podcast and I had a French podcast about skepticism okay. and critical mm-hmm. thinking and stuff. So I, I chose that title because uh, so many people uh, seem to think that, you know, skeptics, they're, they're boring. You know, they don't believe in anything. They're just like, mm-hmm. they, they're not fun. they I'm like, no, 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 it has nothing to do. No, 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 you know, I'm a, I'm a skeptic and I'm a critical thinker and I'm, I'm, you know, every single day there's tons of things to amaze me just, you know, mm-hmm. going out to uh, the grocery and I'm in awe of uh, bugs, birds, trees. So <laughs> right, right. You know, my life is really, really wonderful. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. having so much fun. And um, so am I. It's wonderful. So great. And so, yeah, going back to the, the, the podcast, uh, it, it was, um, it had the, it was, you know, kind of successful, uh, mostly mm-hmm. uh, in France, Belgium. But at one point, you know, you're busy and it kind of dies. But <laughs> now uh, I'm, um, I'm co-hosting a podcast still about skepticism, which is called Science, Pseudoscience et Scepticisme. So science, pseudoscience and skepticism yeah. in French again. And mm-hmm. in that one, we... Um, we take a subject and we really go in depth. We do lots, lots and lots of research and uh, subjects like uh, uh, time traveling, like why it's mm-hmm. not possible, mm-hmm. why theoretically maybe there's a possibility. But uh, um, mm-hmm. the last one we did was about the children who sees and maybe some communicates with ghosts and mm. Mm. So it's super interesting. You know, we talked about the power of the pyramid and things like that. Oh, cool. And I also have uh, 15 minutes uh, every week at a radio station. It's uh, Passion FM. It's in French again. So most of you are Anglophone. Sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> so well, yeah, every week I have a 15 minutes where uh, I, called, I, call, I, I talk about... Um, a paranormal subject, different paranormal subject, and I try to bring um, a scientific explanation, you know, a natural explanation to the supernatural. But I'm mm-hmm. always leaving the door open to the paranormal, you know, and never saying, you know, this is impossible, this is just, this doesn't exist. And no, it's like, maybe, but maybe there's this other explanations to it. So, but always leaving the door open and um, there's things there's podcast coming soon I'm in September I will be coasting with Jose de Rocher who's right here oh, nice. oh my god nice. <laughs> so we will be uh, coasting a podcast called uh, Neuro Jazette again in French mm-hmm. where uh, we'll be talking about everything related to uh, neurodiversity uh, mm-hmm. autism and mm-hmm. things like that so it's going to be a very uh, laid-back conversations uh, anecdotes and we will have uh, great guests talking about everything related to neurodivergence and I'm probably not supposed to talk about that but there's another yeah there is another project (laughs) (laughs) where another podcast where i will be talking about uh, again supernatural things but i will link horror movies fantastic movies to Mm, supernatural mm. uh, supernatural phenomenon and then critical thinking, skepticism, and things. So, but I, I didn't say that. I didn't talk about mm-hmm. that. So it's, mm-hmm. That should be coming in September, but didn't I say anything. I didn't hear anything. No, nobody the, heard from the, the, the sound was really muffled, right? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, 
So, something I like to ask, because it's important to me, is um, what is one way you can make a deep and meaningful connection with your audience? Um, well, I try to engage the audience as much as possible. I always do eye contact. Uh, when, when I do a show and people... Oh, <laughs> and people... <laughs> There you go. And uh, <laughs> but when people walk in one of my show, I'm usually there greeting them, you know, mm -hmm. one by one and when it's possible to do so. Mm. And I'm, you know, asking questions to the audience, but, you know, just not asking questions and then doing something else, but really, you know, pay attention to what the person has to say and, and keep that in mind to maybe talk about it a little bit later during the show, right? right, right. But um, there, there, there are some routines that I do where I can't engage people in that way because like the video you showed at the beginning, um, I couldn't engage in the, the, uh, my, uh, my routine where uh, I'm uh, doing uh, magic for a kid's show. So yeah, and the real diversity rocks. Absolutely, Anthony. <laughs> 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 and uh, <laughs> so, so yes, I couldn't engage with uh, that that I did for your uh, for your yeah. show. I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I wasn't engaging mm -hmm. with you because I was pretending that I was doing a kids show. But um, oh, yeah, right, I used right, yeah. but but I used the name of some people like you were the birthday boy. You know, tell me the birthday mm -hmm. boy if you remember. I used yeah, Kevin I do, Field's yeah. name yeah. and uh, Kevin's yeah. mom was yeah. mad at me for. <laughs> Hurting a rabbit, and <laughs> so and, and same for uh, the the clip that that you showed at the beginning. There right, was no sound, right. but if you, yeah, when you totally hear, right. when you listen yeah. to it with with yeah. sound, you'll see that I talk about Annabelle, and at the end, right. um, I mentioned that you yeah. know I explained yeah. the old thing, you know, the end possession thing, because you know I I did yeah. the thing with you and Annabelle and that I play a lot with Michael Kelly also and this is what happens right you know right, minor right. case of hand possession so. Right. <laughs> so this is my way <laughs> of engaging with you even if I was not directly talking yes. with you guys so yes. yeah <gasps> is that Benji well Benji's down here but the <gasps> so cat that's... is over here oh. yeah they're both uh, adorable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't pay attention, huh? Oh, hey? yes, we oh. got a Benji. <laughs> oh, we have a cameo. A cameo <laughs> from Benji. Mm. Oh, I love right. Benji. Now everybody will love Benji. I know. <laughs> I know. My good boy. My good boy. <laughs> um. So yeah, it was really interesting. Um, and uh, neurodiversity does a lot. Um, uh, let's see. Um, so we're coming to the end. We got a couple more questions. Um, what is one thing that you would recommend to someone who is entering a career in magic and or Mechanism. One thing. One. Well, it can be one. more than one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, um, I would say it can, it can be a thousand things. Thousand? No, but, no, no. I won't say that. <laughs> maybe I'll go up to two. Maybe, but I'm okay, good with one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I would say, um, don't be afraid to be different. You know, just. Mm. Mm. Go for it and don't let what you think other people might say or think about you stop you. Just do what you want. Do it. Have fun. Be creative. There's, there's no rules. Some people say there's rules. Well, there is some, but, you know, don't reveal magic tricks. But besides that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just do what you feel. And... Um, mm -hmm. Second 
little second thing, g- get um, get an acting coach. Maybe th- th- that can really help uh, expand your your art of magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good, very nice. And um, finally, um, is there anything that we haven't um, spoken about so far that you would like to talk about? Zombies. Yes. We haven't talked about zombies yet. We haven't. That's right. That's right. I love yes. zombies. Yes. Yes. So, so um, let's talk briefly about your your dream queen career. Uh, you've been in um, a lot of um, low budget horror movies, and so many that um, occasionally you get recognized. For, for being in them. Um, let's talk zombies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, you're right. I have been in the many, many, many very low budget and dependent horror films. And I love it. I was most of the time cast as the victim because I look so innocent, <laughs> right? <laughs> mm, mm, <laughs> <a> perfect victim. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it, mm. Well, I was cast as a victim. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I was killed in tons of different ways, like crazy, crazy. <laughs> like I think my favorite one is still the one where I was killed with the camera tripod. You know, just oh, yeah, yeah, sci-fi, yeah, 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 like so, so, super, so it was That's super funny. violent. And dur- during the scene, this, this was in Sins of the Father. During the scene, um, mm-hmm. while the guy was eating, I was actually there, I was on the bed, and he was eating me, eating like this away from my head. Oh, and I was no. like, I really hope wow. he doesn't miss because this yeah. is gonna be tragic. Wow, but he didn't miss. I'm fine. I'm fine. But yeah, yeah. zombies, yeah. zombies. Um, yeah. I I did. Uh, I had like a crazy, crazy uh, zombie photo shoot, and I think I sent you uh, a photo. You did, you yeah, you did. And I think I only had it on my phone. I don't think I I it's... put it on the computer. Um, I, I I actually I'm. I'm you can little, testify yeah, that. It's... Yeah. I can it's, testify. I, I like it so much. I'm having it blown up to put, to put on the wall. And, <laughs> and I don't know. I'll nightmares every night. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's pretty scary. Um, you have makeup and, and you're like cut open. And, and it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, gruesome. pretty gruesome. Yeah. yeah I love but, it. But, but I am going to have it blown up. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, so zombies, uh, zombies yes, <laughs> um, I love zombies. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> and my favorite dreams are my zombies nightmares which right, are not right. technically nightmares since I enjoyed them so much but yeah. I love killing zombies in my dreams it's the mm-hmm, best <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> once, once I had only a fork to fight with those zombies so I was going right for the eyes you know from the eyes through the brain it was, it was amazing wow. amazing that's great that's yeah great <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, anything else about zombies? Um, I think we're good about zombies. Good. Unless, good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. okay. Well, there's only zombies one... covered. Good. There's only one thing left to ask, and that would be. Would you be willing to perform for us today? Oh, um, yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, you I almost kind of forgot, forgot about you that. You almost <laughs> forgot, right? <laughs> I went somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 
cake. Let me I, bring I, it. I, I've, I've, I've been somewhere else all afternoon. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Still you, did it in time. <laughs> I think you know where. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you do you want um do you want the whole screen or um is it okay the way you feel? Um, you, you wait, I'll let you judge. I let you judge. Okay. So I will unplug my um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah. Everybody. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I need some space to. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's so warm in here. Okay, wait, am I well framed? <laughs> it's okay. Uh, as, we, as we said, now I put it all. <laughs> uh, a fourth really zombie samurai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> boy. <laughs> um. All right, let's see how. If I do this, you won't be able to hear me. But who I wants to hear? Who wants? Think... Oh, but now I'm all alone. Okay, so <laughs> all right, so I will perform for you today a classic of magic uh, uh, routine that requires three rows. Uh, wait, a long rope, a medium rope, and a small rope. So I don't know if you're like me, but I always give personalities to objects. Do I have people in the crowd saying, yes, I give personalities to objects too? No, no, no. I'm always the only one doing that. So when I look... At, oh, he does. <laughs> Tommy says he does too. Yay. So, when I look at the long rope, what I see is a rope that is successful. A rope who's, who has prestige, you know, prestigious. When I look at the medium rope, I see a rope that is a hardworking rope. You know, she, th th that, that rope is a uh, is good friend with the long rope, but um, the medium rope kind of envy the success of the long one. And now there's the small rope, Mrs. Small Rope. So she looks at them, she looks at the long and the, the medium rope, and she finds them weird. She, she tried she tried to be friends with them but it didn't work out very well you know small rope she feels like um she comes from another planet or something but at one point she decides to get closer to the long rope and the medium rope and she observes them she studies them she quickly realizes that the long rope is often a medium rope who was lucky in its rope's life. And then the small rope goes hide. She hides. And then she starts to imitate the other rope. She imitates them so well that when we look at the small rope, we don't see a small rope anymore. We only see same size rope. There's no small rope, no small rope here, no small rope there. They're all equal, they're all the same. But at one point, the small rope thinks that, you know, it's okay to be small. It's okay to be different than the others. I'll come closer. Not even is it 
okay to be different. But now that she understands the medium rope and the long rope, she can, she can be with them as, as herself and she's accepted. Well, she still finds them a little bit weird, but she feels less like an alien. And I'll get my chair back. And I won't. <laughs> and you know, this is the path of many people on the autism spectrum and people who are neurodivergent. People like me. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. I'm fine. Good. Yay! <laughs> Thank <Woo -hoo>! you. <laughs> Yay! That was beautiful. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Well, well done. Well done. You'll hear me better. Yeah, we got some. The we got some, we got some love here from Bill, from John, um, from whoever this is, <laughs> and from whoever this is. <laughs> so I don't know who that is, but if you want to put your name down, it's Michael Kelly. Hi, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, baby. Hi, hi. Oh, and there's oh, Ben. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I see you. I see you. Um, <laughs> and Kevin Peel, yay, bravo. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, oh, merci, merci, wow. We get oh, some yeah. more, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's wow. right. Yeah. And Toyobo. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for incredible. <laughs> um, and oh, Alan, for sure, you get some hope. Oh, Ooh. see, Alan, I, I performed that uh, um, for uh, Alan a while mm -hmm. ago, and I was super confused because right before, oh, thank you, Mike, because right before the show, I was, I realized that uh, objects doesn't have sex in English, and my old thing. And right, then I go, right. oh, yeah, mixed up. So, it, I, yeah. so I fixed yeah. it by saying that Mrs. Little Robe, and now I, I can say that. she I all over that. the place. Yeah. And, I love that, yeah. Because it was so confusing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, yeah. yeah. Alan is a very creative magician, and, yes. and um, we are all with you, my friend. Uh, we hope you feel better soon. Yes. Yes. Um, COVID is evil. Yeah. Ah. No doubt. Yeah. Um, so uh, we're at the end of the show, and I don't want to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you were by far my favorite guest, and yes, I am biased because um, you are my <laughs> One of my favorite people to hang out with. So, um, and thank you, thank you. aside from this guy, yeah, um, yeah, I can't beat Benji, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> um, Anthony has one of the thing the elegance of the long rope and the pretty petite small rope, but it is. It's a medium fake. <laughs> that's very good. It's good. It's good. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Wow. Very clever. Yeah. Yep. Nice, nice callback. Nice call me. Yeah. It should have been me. <laughs> <laughs> it will be, Tommy. It will be. <laughs> um, Isabel, um, it was such a pleasure having you on the show. Oh, thank you so much um, for having me. I'm so happy. I had a fantastic time. Thank you so much for being so. Thank you for being such a lovely performer. You're going to be performing tomorrow, is that correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. My first paid show, Magic Page. 
was I supposed to say that? Okay, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, but yeah, it's, it's too late now. It's too late, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be performing uh, a bit yeah. of magic tomorrow at Pride, um, an event at Pride, and I'm very, very excited. Yeah. And yes, uh, I don't have enough days to um, do everything I need to do, but I'll be ready for tomorrow. There's still many hours to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it will be fun. It will be fun. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I think um, I think it will be uh, live on Facebook also. I heard. Oh, good. Uh, yes. So good. But yeah, the act is in French. So. Well, it's okay for me. I understand French, but what about everybody else? <laughs> what about? <laughs> yeah, money, money, money. money. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Mike. <laughs> thank you. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Yeah, um, of course, it is very positive. Um, you deserve a lot more, and I. This is why I keep saying that um, you are a force to be reckoned with because I, I see, I see that happening to you. If if you keep going where you're going and and I'll hang keep going. out, and, and I know you will, and and, and and hang out with fabulous people like me, you would be. <laughs> There you go. That's the secret, right? <laughs> yep. And, and Anthony and Kevin and share the link or I will end more zombies. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have do you have the link for the um for the show tomorrow? Yes. Okay, yes, there's so, the event on my Facebook page. Okay. And yeah. And and I can copy it and, and put it underneath yeah. the video so okay cool um isabel once again thank you so much um you are a force to be back with i said it again <laughs> again, I and again, again. again. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so thank much you. But um, thanks to you so much for having yeah. me and letting me perform at your show. And thanks to Kevin oh, also yeah. and yeah. Alan, uh, uh, Anthony. And th thank you, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's awesome performing uh, for you guys. It's, it's just so grateful. Well, I won't speak for him, but I love having you on the show. So you will always welcome on my show any time. Um, yay. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Isabel. And that is our show for today. I just want to remind everyone that this Sunday is my keyboard shop. And um, uh, if you want, um, if you haven't already registered, you can um, uh, email me at. Um, TommyBennett1 at gmail.com. Not only about that, but if you have questions about the show, you know, how do you become a patron, um, how, do you, how do you become a guest, send me an email, and I will get back to you right away. And um, remember, the magic is inside of you. It is not your thoughts. Also, if you want to be, I don't know if you noticed, I wear this red pin and Isabel was wearing it too. Let me bring her back out real quick. Um, you can see her, she was wearing hers as well. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, right. um, yeah, it's, it's right here. And that is the. Um, the pin of the Society of American Magicians, which is an international uh, organization now, and is um, the largest magic um, uh, organization in the world. And if you want to become a member, all you have to do is go to www.magicfam.com and fill out the application, 
and pay the application fee, and you will become a member. And um, I've met so many incredible people since I became a member, including uh, Isabel and um, Anthony Gallstone, uh, who is the um, International Assembly President, uh, International Assembly of the SAM President, uh, of which I am an envoy for New York. And um, uh, yeah, so you meet really incredible people, and um, I highly recommend it. And um, this show is allied with um, the International Assembly, and I am very proud to um, say so. A um, couple of people uh, have a couple more comments. Uh, somebody registered, have a key, and wearing sunglasses. All right, um, the sunglasses will be helpful. Um, I don't know why, but um, <laughs> it will be helpful. Uh, who else? Um, Michael, thank you both. A great conversation. It really was. It really was. And thank you, John Gordon. And thank you, everyone, for watching today. Um, I have a great guest next week, as always. Um, this gentleman is the uh, owner of um, Alakazam Magic. His name is Peter Lottie, and um, I'm looking forward to talking with him next week about about magic, about uh, how he sells stuff, um, how you how you get something manufactured and a lot of uh, other things along that line. So please tune in again next week and until then I'll see you soon.